Hi, I'm Jamie from jamiedelanewatson.com. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. Today we're going to be talking about how to create packages for your photography pricing. And I'm super excited to be bringing you a collaboration with Julie Christie, who's also doing a video on the same topic today. So be sure to click over to her channel after you've watched this video and subscribe both here and there as well. So let's get into it. The first thing that we have to decide when it comes to creating packages for our photography pricing is do we want packages at all? There's two schools of thought. You could either go with a la carte pricing for all of your photography or you could have set photography collections. If you went a la carte, what you're going to want to do is choose one package that you want every single client to have. So this could be as simple as four hours of wedding photography coverage and a disc of images. Don't even need to include that. And by a disc, I mean a gallery because discs are many years ago. So you decide what the minimum you want your client to have. And then you have a whole bunch of a la carte options that the client could add onto that package when they book. A few things to keep in mind about a la carte pricing. It's very important to be satisfied with the client booking the a la carte package at the minimum rate on a summer high season Saturday. What I mean by this is it's all good and fine to have a la carte pricing and four hours of wedding photography coverage until a client books that on a long weekend in August on a Saturday, a very popular wedding date. Now, instead of your company making an eight or 10 or 12 hour wedding collection package, the client has booked a four hour package and you have lost thousands of dollars of income that day. Now it's not your client's fault because you haven't laid out those specifications or made sure that you're still bringing home what you need to bring home. So I have experimented with lots of different ways of doing pricing in my business. For a few years I had a la carte pricing, now I'm back to package pricing. But the biggest thing I've noticed is that with the a la carte pricing, you're going to want that minimum spend to be something that feels good to you. So that if it's booked on a Saturday wedding season, you're not irritated by it, you're actually glad because all the a la carte pricing means is they have this set collection and then they can mix and, match, mix and match whatever else they need to create that ideal wedding collection for that client. So rather than looking at it as like a really base, base, base rate, instead it's just one set collection that they can mix and match. So that's the first way of creating packages for your photography business. The second way of creating packages for your photography business is going to be having a number of set packages, anywhere from two packages to five packages. I would highly recommend the sweet spot of three, maybe four packages, but three is really the best way I find to not overwhelm your clients when they open up your pricing document, but instead guide them towards the best package for them. So some advantages of packages over a la carte pricing is you can use slight discounts by packaging multiple items together to encourage clients to book a higher package. So say most of your clients are just booking six to eight hours of wedding day coverage, the gallery of images, second shooter, engagement session, a very basic pass package. But you wish that they would order more albums, you wish that they would order an engagement guest book, and you wish that maybe they would order a canvas print. Now, it's going to be hard to convince them a la carte, as we talked about in the first option, to add all of those items. Because if they see the individual pricing laid out, it might be wedding album 1500, engagement album 700, canvas print 300. Now, if we can combine all of those three prices I just said, maybe take off about 10%, add that into package two, so package three would be your base package with none of those extra details. Package two would have all of those extra details, but at a slight discount from what it would be a la carte. This is a great way for a client to look at your list of prices and say, oh, it's really worth it for us to splurge for that package two or package one based on what we receive. If you'd like to learn more about pricing in your photography business, I have a free guide just for you. If you head to jamiedelanewatson.com slash pricing, you can download a multi-page pricing PDF that will lead you through more of what I'm talking about in more detail today. So I know you'll love that. So let's get into the specifics of actually how to create packages for your photography business. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to write down every single item you wish to offer your clients from a dream item you wish to offer your clients all the way down to like standard hours of wedding day coverage. You can't have wedding photography 
without you actually being there taking pictures. So write a list of each one of these items. Next, you're gonna write the cost that it costs you to deliver each one of those items. So for you physically taking wedding photos, it doesn't cost you anything but your time. For the wedding album, you're gonna definitely have some hard costs to order the album, to have a designer design it, shipping, packaging, all of those details. So once you have this complete list of all the items you could possibly offer a client, now we're gonna mix and match. You're gonna create a middle package that is the ultimate package that if every client booked this package, you'd be so happy. So for me, this is about nine hours of wedding day coverage, a wedding album, engagement session, second shooter, and a gallery of images. You're gonna decide the best price for that package based on your costs. And if you want help with that, that pricing PDF that I mentioned will help you. So then you're gonna have a package above that package, package one, and package three, which would be the base package. Package three, similar philosophy with the a la carte pricing. You need to be fine with the client booking the lowest package on a date. You don't wanna be disappointed, so you need to make sure this price is high enough that you're still having a profitable business. So that would be more of like a bare bones package because we're really trying to push people to package two. Now package one would be the ultimate package. So you're gonna to wanna to include all the albums, all the canvas prints if, if that's something that you offer. Really this dream package for clients. And we're gonna want that pricing to be quite high. So you're gonna to wanna to look at the pricing in between each package, make sure it makes sense based on what you've um, set your a la carte pricing at. And basically the, the philosophy behind it is we're pushing people towards package two. And of course, if people book the top package, that's awesome. So it's nice to have this contrast because everything looks less expensive in comparison to the highest package. I hope this information helped you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to check out Julie's video on her channel as well on the same topic. I know you'll enjoy it. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. I would love to chat with you in the comments.